You know, when Tammy and I talked about the idea that we felt like God wanted us to write this book, that was one thing. But when Tammy, the creator, started actually writing and then asking me ideas and running things by me, uh, that's when it became real. And that's when it got shaky. And that's when I was like, hey, this is, this is going to happen. And we're obeying. And I don't know if I want to do it. One of the things I always uh, worked since I was 11 years old, one of my first jobs was selling newspapers in front of Kmart and Grandpa Pigeons. But I remember one particular night when I was uh, selling papers, a Saturday night, a black gentleman coming up to me to buy paper and he goes, son, do you know that Jesus Christ has a reason for your arm? We were in a small group and someone approached Mark, someone that we had grown to trust, actually the host. Says, you know, I had an interesting experience. During worship, um, when I was raising my hands to praise the Lord, um, I was unable to lift up my left arm. She said, this is really, really hard for me to share. I felt like, um, like the Lord said that he wanted to, might possibly want to create an arm for you. Looking back, I don't even think, I, we both don't remember exactly what we said. Probably just kind of deferred and said, you know, well, yeah, that's great, you know, do you have any Mountain Dew or diet soda? Well, over the next several years, in different settings, different people began to bring that same word to us over and over again. It was like the floodgates were open. And now people that knew nothing about that word to us from Donna, other people were coming to us individually now saying, God had woke me up in the middle of the night to pray for you to have a creative miracle. We had started a ministry called Hand of Jesus Ministries, um, but we didn't really have a real definition for what that was supposed to look like. But I was um, asking the Lord, what can, what can I do, God, to just be about your business for this ministry? And I felt it was, it was one of those times when I felt like I almost had a dialogue with the Lord. But I felt like he said, write a book. He said, I want you to write about the promise of, your, of the creative miracle. And I want you to write what you've been through, the process you've been through, um, because the process is just as important as the fulfillment. The story in our book walks all through. Uh, even my own journey, and I began to see how much the process of what we walked through with the promise that God has given us for creative miracle, the process is so important, and that was the part that I began to have a value for people that were going to be reading this book. And people need to know that there is a process, and that, you know, sometimes you might go to a healing meeting or see someone instantly healed, not even being any, not being aware at all of the process they went through to get to that point. Faith is the desire for things hoped for, but it's the evidence of things not seen. Mark, do you trust me enough to let me share the process through you and Tammy about something that's bigger and that you cannot make, you can't fulfill? You know what I want people to take away from this is that even if you have not yet received the breakthrough that you, you've been praying for and that you've been crying out, out for, that, that the delay is not a loss, that God uses every moment along the way. The thing I'm excited about for the book is that I hope that it will provide for others the ability to understand that which they are waiting for in God, or if it has not happened yet, how to continue to know that God is good and how can I continue to please Him by giving Him my full trust and faith.